Hey yo, my little duckies. So, Andy is back with another video. It's been a little while as I've been quite busy behind the scenes. I've got loads of information coming soon, so make sure you are subscribed for it. Loads of crazy streaming stuff that is being updated. In this tutorial, it's going to be a quick old school style one where I just sit in front of the computer and do it live. I'm going to create a transition in the style of like that old Final Fantasy pixelation thing where it'll make your scene A really pixelized, switch to scene B that is pixelized and come back to scene B normally, which you can't really do with a normal transition. But with my plugin that I made, the scene as transition plugin, you will be able to do that. So without further ado, let's just fire off into OBS, shall we? Just a note from future, Andy. This is actually available as well for my Patreon and Kofi members. So if you just want to download it and get using this transition and don't want to make it all yourself, you can just get it straight from my Discord or you can buy it from the Stream Up Kofi page for three pound, I think it is, something like that. And it goes obviously to help some supporting me make this content so there's a shortcut for you all right enjoy so we've got obs and like i say we are going to be using the scene as transition uh, plugin that i created if you've not downloaded it yet go download it it's super powerful and i'm about to show you exactly why so i'm going to use these two scenes just here i've got my just chatting scene and i've also got the elgato game capture which is currently a browser source yeah nice one that's just the way I am. I'm going to create a new scene first. And this scene I'm just going to call Pixelation Transition. Just like so. And we're going to add in, we're going to be using multiple different plugins, but all the links are going to be in the description, so don't worry. The first plugin we're going to use is the Source Clone plugin by Exceldro. So we're going to select Source Clone, and I'm going to call this Previous Scene. Because when you're doing a transition, you go from the previous scene to the current scene. I always get so confused because it's not next scene, it's the current scene because you change to it already when you are doing a transition. It, it just blows my mind sometimes. So the clone type we're going to use is the previous scene, obviously. And then depending on your audio setup, you might need to have audio selected or not. Depends if it's per scene audio, whereas I have mine globally, so I don't need it on. So I'm just going to leave that off and press continue. And we're going to make another one of them. So I'm going to press the plus sign, go to source clone. And this time we're going to use current scene. Like that. And we're going to press the drop down and we're going to select current scene, turn the audio off and press OK. So the previous scene I want to be on top because that's the first scene that we're going to see. And obviously we can't really see anything just yet because, well, we're, we're currently... Uh, we, the previous scene didn't exist when this this plugin was fired off. So if I go to just chatting and then go to pixelation scene, you can see the previous scene was the just chatting scene. If it was Elgato game capture, there you can see that was the previous scene. So we're going to do some cool shenanigans. So the first thing we want to do is build the effect. So I'm going to right click on the scene transition, the, the pixelation transition scene press filters, and we're going to use a plugin called Composite Blur by my good friend Finite Singularity. He is knocking it out of the park with some new plugins. I've done videos on them. They are amazing. Go get them. Uh, all the links are in the description. So we're going to choose Composite Blur. And I know we're not actually doing a blur, but we're doing pixelation. So that is actually part of this plugin, and it is super sweet. So we're going to choose the blur algorithm pixelate, and you can use squares, hexagons, circles, triangles, whatever you want to do. I'm just going to use squares and I'm going to set it to about 100. And you can see it all goes pixelized just like so. If I go to say just chat and you might see it a little bit better, you can see we're completely pixelized. And now we need to animate this. So we're going to use now the move plugin, which if you are using OBS, if you've not got this, then I don't know why you're using OBS. Like just get it. It's the most powerful plugin that actually is by Exceldro. So we're going to press move value and I'm going to turn pixelation on. And the filter we're going to select is composite blur because that's the one that we want to control. And we're going to do a single setting and we're going to change the pixel size. And it's going to pull the, 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 the number that we already put in there. You can see we can press get value if we want to. Uh, we can change the duration of probably about half a second. But, so the whole transition is going to take a second because it's going to be half a second um, turning it on, half a second turning it off. You can adjust the easing and the easing function. That's all up to you on the style. And now we're going to duplicate it. So it's got the same settings, but we're going to turn the pixelation off. And we're going to change the pixel size to zero. So now I've got this where I can turn off, turn it on, turn it off, 
Turn it on. So to get this working, we need the previous scene to be on, like it is now, but then we need to switch the current scene by turning this one off. And we can do all of that just inside of OBS. I mean, you could use different things like StreamerBot, Sammy, Atom, whatever you use, mix it up. You can do it all in there, but I kind of like to do a lot inside of OBS, so it's all automated. And with my scene as transition plugin, it'll automate it for you, which is really cool. So we're going to add a new... Um, filter and we're gonna add a move action filter and we're gonna say previous scene off so we're gonna turn it off and I'm gonna put this in order so I want pixelation to be on once that's done turn previous scene off and then turn uh, and then pixelation off if that makes sense Um so previous scene off so we're gonna go to the source visibility action and the scene that we're gonna select is the pixelation transition because that's the scene that we want it to turn off on, and the previous scene to be turned off by disabled, just like that. So now, if I press that, it's going to turn previous scene off. So you can see it stays on for a little while. You can stop that. It, it's not going to affect it, but you can turn custom duration on and press that little zero, and then now it's going to be like an instant trigger, just like so. And then we actually need to turn the previous scene back on, so I'm going to duplicate this and turn it back on with enable just like so and then now I've got the option of turning it all back on and off. So pixelation on is going to trigger the previous scene off so if I scroll down go to next move and press previous scene off. Previous scene off is then also going to trigger the pixelation off so the next move will be pixelation off do you see where we're going with this and pixelation off will then trigger the previous scene on to turn it on so I'm going to turn previous scene on for now and now if I press pixelation on so you can see that all kind of happens quite quickly I'm actually going to do a start delay of about 500 milliseconds just here just so it makes sure that all of the scene transition is finished before turning back on and that is it we're ready to go believe it or not so it doesn't look like much right now because the current scene is a blank scene isn't it so I'm gonna close this down and we're gonna add a new transition and we're gonna use the scene transition I'm gonna call it sorry just punch the microphone pixelation uh, transition and the scene we're gonna select is pixelation transition which is down there and the duration is 1500 because if you remember pixelation on was 500 milliseconds pixelation off was 500 milliseconds and then I did a wait at the end as well um, so I'm just going to leave transition point in the middle as well and then this is what's going to automate everything filter to trigger we're going to turn pixelation on so this plugin as soon as the scene transition starts it's going to trigger that pixelation on filter and then automate through the rest of them and I press OK and then that's that's it just chatting to the Elgato one back to just chatting really cool transition which normally you wouldn't be able to do that kind of thing with a normal stinger transition because it doesn't manipulate the source and obviously this is just to kind of get your juices flowing on what actually can be done with with my plugin seamless transition nothing like getting a text mid video right but i think that's about time to wrap it up anyway so I hope you really like that. Please let me know if you come up with any cool things with this plugin because I'm going to be holding a contest throughout the whole of November on different things that different transitions that people make. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you followed and subscribed, uh, and there will be a prize. I don't know what the prize is yet, but there will be a prize, and it'll be a good prize. I promise. It'll, promise it'll be a good prize. So get subscribed, and I'll see you in the next one. If you like this kind of video as well, please let me know in the comments, and I'll make sure I do more of them just so there's more content out there because I've not been posting for a long time. All right. See you next one. Put your rock over the stone.